Today I'm going to talk about using tabs in Adobe InDesign. We're going to cover the precision distribution of tabs and tables like this. We are going to cover hanging punctuation like brackets and financial tables like this. And finally we're going to have a look at creating tabbed dot leaders, so this kind of thing here. Now for this demonstration I'm using the annual report grid system I created for in design. And you can purchase this in A4 and US letter formats from the links below this video. Now, I've talked in previous videos about the importance of reducing eyeball decisions in design and layout jobs. And there's a great line in Robert Bringhurst's book, The Element of Typographic Style, that goes something like, give full typographic attention, especially to the incidental details. So things like financial tables are a really good excuse to show that you're a typographer, and to show that you know how to handle type. You know, anything that can bring an additional element of precision can really elevate an entire job. Okay, let's have a look at this tabbed financial table example. Now, if we turn on invisible, so type, show hidden, hidden characters or command option I, and then we turn on our um, tabs window, so that's type tabs or command shift T. You notice we've got 10 evenly distributed right justified tabs with the 10th tab right aligned to the right hand side of our table. Now, how did we create this? Let's go ahead and clear all of these so we can create it again just now. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to take the full width of our table which in our instance is 536.191. And again, we take that, copy and paste it, or copy copy it now, and then we paste it into the X um, field of our tabs window and make sure that we've got our right justified tab selected at a time. So that's us with one tab at the very right hand side of our table. Now, we want to make sure we've got 10 of these. So all we do is forward slash um, for divide, and then we put in 10 there. So that's us get one tab, one right aligned tab at 10% of the width of our table. Now we want 10 of these. So let's repeat this tab. So that's us now get 10 tabs equally distributed across our table. Now one of the things InDesign does some, sometimes rounds up with the original um, calculation. So if we just copy and paste that again, and we'll clear this, and we'll just do it again using that new figure that we've copied, and we repeat these, that fixes that issue there. So we've now got 10 um, equally distributed um, right justified tabs with the right hand tab at the very edge of our table. Okay, let's now take a look at hanging punctuation in our tab tables like this. This is something you're going to have to do quite a lot. If you're working with financial tables, a lot of the time your numbers are going to be wrapped in brackets like this. So let's go ahead and have a look at this now. If we were to try and just put brackets in to our previous table. This is how it would look. You know, so immediately it's untidy, it's not aligned. So how do we go ahead and fix this? First thing we want to do, let's just take that 10% figure from before, which is 10% of our um, table width. Let's uh, open up our tabs window and let's clear all our tabs. Now, instead of choosing our right justified tab, we want to choose the fourth one, which is aligned to decibel or other specified character tab. And we just drop that in there. And again, what we want to do, uh, we want to take our 10% figure, which is 53.619, drop it into the X field. And in that line on, we want our right bracket um, in that field there. So let's just go ahead and uh, repeat our tabs like that. And there you go. So let's try that now. 
we are all aligned nicely in our table. Finally, let's take a look at dot leaders. Now, I'm not so keen on dot leaders compared to the look of uh, rules above and below like this. But if you want to create a tab dot leader, like this, it's relatively straightforward. So let's take a look at this text box. Is that text box that I've already started here? Now you notice I've got. Sorry, you notice I've got our uh, one tab between our text and our number. And again, just make sure you're using uh, hard returns instead of soft returns throughout. But apart from that, it's fairly straightforward. Let's go ahead and create our dot leader now. So if I turn off invisibles. I just want to copy and paste our uh, table width again as before and I open up our tabs window so type tabs or command shift T and this time we want to use our right justified tab so we just click onto the ruler there and make sure our X field has the full width so that's us right aligned okay and we just want to add a leader which is our full stop that's us there. As always, if you found this useful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, you can purchase these layouts from the links below the video.